Good afternoon. Uh, it's always good to, to be with this group of men uh, and ladies, too. I recognize you as well. But uh, uh, I'll just start this thing with questions. I, I know there's a lot of questions, and I'd rather answer questions than talk. I guess you have to talk when you ask, answer questions, too, as well, but that's okay, too. Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Yeah, Chief, you, uh, just wonder what, what your take is on the seniors. You've got to know here what they've meant to the defense, kind of what, what senior night mean, means to you. Well, you know, it's always a, you know, a special time and a special time for the program. And, uh, but for these young men, it's truly a special time. You know, it's the last time that they'll get to go in, into this stadium and, 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 and uh, wear that logo on the side of their helmet and represent Arkansas. And uh, no matter where you are, it's special. It's special, and uh, you know we've got some we've got some seniors that have meant a lot to this program, and and uh, hopefully they're going to be ready to finish out the year and uh, start you know uh, and it starts every day, but particularly this week, you know, uh, again it's a you know it's a way to recognize them. Uh, you know, certainly uh, you know uh, it's a, it's a way for uh, for them to feel appreciated. So that's what it's all about. Hey, Chief, I know it's been nine days now, but we haven't talked to you since the Vandy game. Can you just – your rehash of that and then what the, what the last week has been like for your unit? Well, uh, you know, the, in, in terms of rehashing the game, I mean, it's simple. We didn't play well enough to win. And, uh, you know, you don't like saying those things, but you've got to be honest, and that's what happened. Defensively, we didn't, we didn't play well enough to win. And, you know, it's big plays. It's missed tackles, you know. And uh, uh, when, I, when I make those comments, you know, that gets right back down to the root of the whole deal, and that's coaching. And uh, and as I said, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to come in here and, and, and say, hey, if we had missed tackles, we'd have won the game. Well, that's my responsibility. So, you know, I own that. But we didn't play well enough to win, and that's the bottom line. And uh, we had some guys that played with a lot of effort, played hard. But, uh, you know, playing hard's not always good enough. We got to play well enough to win, and and uh, you know, that's my responsibility. In terms of last week, uh, you know, uh, had an opportunity to do some recruiting. Can't talk about recruiting. Uh, but uh, certainly uh, had an opportunity to do that and had an opportunity to, you know, look at some, you know, when I say look at, I mean, we see them every day, but had an opportunity to work some young guys a little bit more. And, and, and that's good, you know, when, when, when they're getting that work and uh, uh, because it, uh, you know, they need those, those kind of snaps in practice or, or, you know, some of the scrimmages that we had for them. And uh, uh, it's good to see them grow and, and see them compete. Young guys, how is Andrew Parker? He's a kid we haven't heard much about. How's he coming along? Well, he uh, really this past week was the first full, full work, uh, you know, full speed work in a long time. Uh, you know, he's uh, he looks different. He's changed his body. He's been working in the weight room. He hasn't been just sitting around. You know, uh, the hamstring doesn't prevent you from lifting and doing those kind of things. But uh, you know, obviously, he looks you know he looks rusty as a football player. He hadn't been out there, but he got some work in, and that's what he needs. He needs. Uh, he needs every rep he can get, uh, uh, and uh, you know, early in fall practice, you know, he showed some things. Uh, but again, it's going to be a work in process, you know, and that's what he's got to do. And uh, he's already, like I said, he's already changed his body uh, from that standpoint, and that's been good. And uh, you know, we'll just continue and watch his growth and push him to to, to be the best that he can be. And uh, I, personally, I think he's very talented. Coach, some of the younger players who stood out to you in the uh, in the scrimmage. I know you don't like to. To name guys specifically, but well, I think I think both of the young safeties, uh, you know, and, and and they're talented guys. I think uh, I think D. Walker. Uh, I think the the scrimmage, you know, this scrimmage was good for him, or or this scrimmage time was good for him. Uh, and he's a you know, D. Walker is very very talented. Uh, you know, it's a process in terms of learning. Uh, it's a process in terms of of him getting to do the right things at the right time and. You know that's part of coaching too, and I got to help him do the right things at the right time. And and uh, you know obviously uh, you can't do that when you're looking. You got to do it when you're when you're practicing and playing. And uh, uh, but I was pleased with the you know uh, his uh, ability to come out and work hard and take advantage of this time in uh, in the open week. Offensively, just what do you see from LSU, and just especially uh, coming off the, the rough game they had. Well, you know, I think obviously they're a very talented team. You talk about that, you know, when you when you play in SEC teams, you know, they got a quarterback that's gotten better and better. Uh, you know, they got a couple running backs, you know, and and and, and then they got you know receivers, you know, receivers that are six six, you know, six five, six six, and and got good speed on the outside. So, you know, they're they're a very very capable uh, uh, football team, you know. 
you know, one of the, you know, no doubt at this point in time, I think it'd be easy to say one of the top one, two, or, or three uh, teams in this league. And uh, I, I think uh, I think they've earned the right to, to you know, to, to have that conversation. And uh, uh, offensively, it's been, uh, you know, uh, they've, they've held their, their end of the deal. Of course, they're playing with a great defense, and that helps too. But they're a really good football team. But offensively, uh, there's talent all over the field. You know, they're playing some – you know, some younger players than they have in the past, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you think of LSU and some of the, the, the you know, the top teams, you think it's going to be juniors and seniors, but they're playing some younger players. The quarterback that's a transfer is a younger guy. He's a sophomore, you know. So, but uh, they're very talented. BT, I was wondering what, what you did on Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. You know what? I, I, I didn't get back in until about – 2.30, I was in bed by 3.35 Saturday morning. During the off day. Okay, well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I slept a little bit Saturday morning, even though I got up at, 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 at 5.45, I'm up. And, and I slept for about an hour and a half or two. But at 5.45, I was up. And, you know, uh, I was home by myself, so I walked around the house and I looked at things and, I, I made myself a, a pork chop sandwich that uh, my wife had cooked and put it in the freezer. So all I had to do was put it in the microwave, and I had a pork chop, excuse me, pork chop sandwich at about 6:15, 6:30, and uh, then I laid back down for a couple hours and uh, said I wasn't going to look at any football, and uh, I did. Uh, you know, I kind of missed it a little bit, so I watched a whole lot of football, and but didn't leave the house. Stayed there. So as long as you're not burning anybody's red shirt, do you look at maybe giving the young guys a little bit more playing time these last three games just because of the such just you know because you're not bowl eligible and all well, that? Well, you know it, that's that's always you know that's always tempting and 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 certainly you know we may lean in that way, but uh, you know we're going we're going to do everything we can to win, and and listen, I, yeah, I, I'm not afraid of, uh, of talking about winning. It's win first. Bill second, you know, we want to win now, and you've heard me say that in here. And, you know, if it means playing two linebackers the entire game and that's the best way to win, then that's what we'll do. But certainly we got to keep developing this football team. There's no question about that. So you're tempted to, 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 to you know, to lean that way a little bit, and, and we'll just kind of see how things go. But certainly, uh, you know, we're not going, and I promise you this, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't look myself in the mirror if I said we're coming in here to build this program for next year. You know, we're working every day to be our best, to go win. And if I don't feel that we got a chance to win and I'm not totally committed to that, it's you guys, it's time for somebody else. So we're going we're gonna to go try to win. And if that means playing the young guys, if that gives us the best chance, then that's what we'll do. And it's been on the LSU side of it. Just how do they approach Arkansas compared to some other rivals that they have in the league? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. It's, it's been a while ago and, and, and for, you know, Four years ago, and uh, you know, obviously, you know, very, very good program. And I, I think, uh, you know, when you when you play in this league, and and, and certainly, I'll, I'll go back to the, you know, 2011. I talked about that a little bit when I first got here, season when Arkansas was really, really good and in the mix, as good as anybody in the country. And uh, you know, it was, you know, it was that year particularly being there. You know, it was big. It was big. It was a game that we, uh, and when I say we, when I was on the other side. Uh, we had to win to uh, to keep our hopes alive. So you know, and it's that way everywhere in the SEC. You know, and and certainly that's what we got to do. We got to get Arkansas back up to that standard where uh, you know it's uh, where we're going to have an opportunity to compete for championships. And that's when rivalries you know really come alive. And I'm not saying it's not a rivalry. I'm, you know, that's not what I'm saying. But we got to get we got to get back up to the standard that Arkansas was in 2011. And then it'll be a whole lot easier to answer that question. Just nameless, faceless opponent, Stone Cold, or is it a place where you spent a number of years and, and a team that you coached a lot? Well, I, you know, I spent six years there and enjoyed it. You know, enjoyed the players that I coached there. But, you know, it, you know, it, what do they say? All all things come to an end, whether they're good or bad. And and it, you know, it came to an end. And uh, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, it's a situation where, to be quite honest with you, go back and, and give you just a little bit of history. I was not a guy that, you know, uh, ever thought I'd leave Tennessee after spending 21 years there. And uh, then got an opportunity and all of a sudden found out it was better, you know. And, you know, Tennessee people may hear that and they may not like it very good, but that's, you know, who cares, you know. 
But my, my point is, you know, you take, you take advantage of the opportunities that you got. And I'm Arkansas through and through and uh, excited, excited about what we can do and excited about the direction that we're going. We, hey, we got work to do and we got to keep pushing the envelope and, and, and make it, uh, you know, make Arkansas, number one, make it the best place to go to school, and that's important, and to play football in the SEC. That's what we got to do. And uh, how do you do that? You do it by winning, and that's what we got to do. Greenlaw meant to you this season, and then when he's not on the field, what are you guys missing defensively um, that that he brings when he's on the field? Well, obviously, you, you know you know the talent. That's easy for everybody to see, but he's also a leader for us, and uh, he's a he's been a calming effect for us. You know because again, uh, you know new system, you know a lot of players doing a lot of different things, but uh, you know he uh, he and, and we got a couple of guys, but he's one of our leaders and. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about, you know, what we miss when he's not there, you know, uh, because we got the next guy up and he's got to go do the job, and that's just the way we approach things. Uh, but uh, as a young man, he's been fun to coach. There's no doubt about it. And, and uh, you know, we want to make these last three weeks, uh, the you know, a lot more fun than it was, you know, throughout the season. But we've had, we've had great, great times together. Uh, I hope that I've helped him. He certainly helped his football team. And uh, I know this, he's an outstanding young man. Um, Chad said he went deer hunting, but he didn't put any bullets in his gun. So what do you who, think? Who, Chad, Coach Morris, he went deer hunting this weekend, but he didn't put any bullets in his gun. Hmm. Well, you know, there's two ways to look at that. You know, maybe he didn't want to shoot the gun. I don't know. But I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to go. But that's, you know, that's good. But uh, when I do go deer hunting, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to have some bullets in the gun. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Okay. You know the pride that guys from South Louisiana have about who they are, the kind of football they play, and Dijon is a, a part of that. Yeah. Um, might this game mean more to Dijon? Uh, and and what, do you th what do you think of his season? Well, he's had a great year, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I don't use the word great very often. Certainly there were times that he could have been better. Uh, but uh, he's had, a, you know, a, an outstanding year. And he's a competitor. He's a competitor, and he, you know, through and through. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think, but uh, realistically, I'd say, yeah, it means a little bit more, you know. But, you know, realistically, you, you'd like to say, hey, because it's the next game on the schedule, that's why it's important, and you, you go about it that way. But, uh, you know, I, I, I have no, no complaints at all. Uh, he prepares every day. Uh, he's, a, you know, and, and, and he's, a, he's a good athlete, so don't take this wrong. But he's a hard hat guy. He comes to work every day, every day. He's never up. Never down. He's right there. You know what you're getting from him, and 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 I think he'll be the same way. Uh, I know he will be in preparation. I think he'll be the same way in the uh, in the game. And, you know that's the way he plays. That's who he is. Thank you, guys. Thank you.